all the irrigation scheduling is done here via Enviro scans. Uh, they're all set up via telephone links, so we can just sort of download at any time. Uh, we've got two on the furrow system, and we've got uh, four of them on the overhead system. We've got them at, in the top 100 metres of the furrow and the bottom 100 metres. Also, we've got the lysimeters, and basically they're a rain gauge underground. They're down a metre and a half. It's basically a core, yeah, 300, 300 round that we've, an undisturbed core. We've pulled that out and we've put, uh, yeah, basically a rain gauge down the bottom. And, uh, yeah, obviously it measures the water that comes down through. And it's done via this uh, water column here. It produces a vacuum, which pulls the water out of the, out of the ground into some uh, collection, collection tube. After every watering, Lee comes along, measures them out, pumps them out with a little vacuum pump, and more or less measures how much how much water has gone down into the into the into the rain gauge. I guess I call it a rain gauge. There's probably other names for it, but basically that's what it's doing. It's just intercepting water that goes through. So at, at present, we're only doing that whenever we irrigate or we get a big rainfall event. We'll we'll leave it three days, and then come in and measure it. That way, everything should have going through, through to the ground. It, I don't know, it just helps with a lot of the modelling and stuff, like they've got Sermod and that, and they, they run those programs, and I don't know, by having a bit of an indication of what, what's actually physically going down via deep drainage, and if you can match that all up with their models, it, yeah, it sort of proofs everything a fair bit. Any water that goes past a metre and a half, that's where we've got these set at. It's fairly obvious there's not going to be any roots down there, and thus, That'll just go into the underground aquifer and either yeah, build up here or it'll pass on further down towards the delta. And you know, I think in the end we've got to be conscious of that and it actually surprised me and I, how much drainage we were getting here. But it's not a negative, it's once you understand why things are happening you can make changes and that's what farmers are doing all the time, we're, we're making changes. So now that we know that we're pushing the water through a bit quicker. And yeah, we're getting positive results. So with the fire irrigation, we, you know, we've we've got a lot to learn. We've still got a lot to learn.